great. Um, so we've already covered the layout, right? And uh, now we will see this. Although we already saw it before in, the, um, in one of my previous videos, but now I'll, co I'll cover it a little bit more. Just, I wanted a specific video only for this part. Okay, so um, first of all, I need pictures, right? So if you go here, Lorem Pixum Photos, you have like URLs of pictures. So I'll get this picture and uh, in, our, in my dat database, I'll go here now to the database, file store, users, manage content. I will add a picture to all my users. I have four users, so I'll add here a URL. This is the, always the, the same picture. And here, URL, control B, update document, and URL, URL. Here, by the way, if you upload the document, you store it here in the, um, you store it here. I'll do it, I'll, I'll show you, because I didn't show you this. Um, I'll upload the document, upload image of the dog, update document, and this image was stored was stored, where was it stored? I guess it was stored in the storage, CMS uploads. Okay, you see? Um, so it, it, it's, it's fantastic that, that this is happening behind the scenes because um, believe me that to develop something manually, it takes time, eh? it takes time to do this. And it's great that by default they take this decision. Perhaps it's not the best, but at least it's a decision quick. It's quick and, um, and good enough. So we have four profiles with images, right? The next thing that we should do, I should convert the, the, here. I had the chord and I wanted to convert it into a component. So I right click, convert to component, and I'll call it, user item. I create a component and remember that now that has become a, it has a diamond sy symbol. And um, this item needs, needs parameters, okay? In the previous video, I was, I directly passed the user document and with, without, with all of that, I had enough to to work inside the component. This time I'll make it differently and I'll pass the two items that are needed, which is the email and the photo, which is of type image path, confirm. And I have now two parameters instead of one, okay? Now you'll see here t that you get some errors. That's normal because you are changing the whole structure of your application. So until you don't finish the migrate, the process of changing stuff, um, you will get these errors, which is good because it's telling you that you are not, you have not finished. So now I go to the parent, and here I select the component and I pass the email. Well, first of all, I establish a unique key. This is not really necessary, but it helps in performance. Okay, so establish an index for the items and this will make it to render a bit faster. And the email, I'll get it from the user's document, email and the image path from the user's document for to URL. Okay, now the errors should disappear. Property of right, ah, okay, I forgot something. Do you see that? It's good that you see the errors because I forgot to do something which is to change inside the, doc the component that now the path the path, the path will be, um, we have to display the path coming from the parameter photo and the email text should be not the one coming from the user document but from the component parameters email, okay? Now the error has disappeared and if we launch this 
if we launch it, okay, there's a session already. We come to the session, I reload the session. And they shoot two, Im I see two images and the other two are failing. The ones failing are the ones that are being uh, loaded from a note from a, from Lorem Pixum. I imagine that, that there must be some security issue, Pes perhaps course, origin request error or something like that, that it's blocking this image. Well, that's not important. It doesn't really matter because when we do the Tinder, all the images will be, will be loaded from inside. So, so, um, it's not really important that these two images are not loaded because the, that's the error. The, the, the images don't load because they come from an outside, from an um, outside source. But despite this, mm, some of you might be asking, okay, what's the point of defining more than one parameter? I mean, if we, we can pass the whole user document, no? Object. Well, it, which option is better? Which one is right? Which one is wrong? Well, that answer, like uh, very often happens with programming, it uh, depends. <laughs> depends. Um, if you, if I pass the whole document, the whole user document in the parameters, uh, and and only and I'm only using one or two properties and not the rest, I'm overloading with data this this property and that might be not uh, not good uh, a bit less well performing okay it might perform a bit it might not be the best uh, solution if we only think on performance okay on the other hand if i in the future i want to change something in this component i would have to do create a new comp a new parameter here change it, um, the, the definition of how it's uh, used inside the component, go to the login, pass the parameter. So it's more, it has more, more work, right? So if I pass the whole user object, I make that component more flexible. It's more flexible because all the data, it's already inside and I can use it whenever I want, if I want to do future changes. So as you see, it's not always the right question is not which is better or wrong, but if I, if my main goal is to go fast, right? I have to develop this really fast. Like I have a, a really short deadline. This have to be done in, um, in the least amount of time possible. Then I would recommend you to go for the flexible option for the flexible option and put the, the pass the whole user document and that's it. And then you can change it from inside the component and that component is more flexible. If on the other hand, the priority, the business priority, it's performance. No, 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 yeah, it doesn't matter time. We want the best performing app possible. Then the best option would be to define each parameter and, this, and, uh, and you would make the app more performing. So as you can see, it always depends on which are the business priorities or the time requirements, or for example, if, you, if it's a client that you suspect might be changing like the requirements continuously, then try to, I would recommend you to make the component more flexible. If that's not the case, that the requirements are very well specified, will not change over time, then you could, uh, define each property for each parameter. You, you see, it depends, okay? And um, that's it with theory, to be honest. Like, in the next video, we'll start already with the Tinder, with the development of the Tinder app.